Hi everyone, Walter Bound here talking about audience. All right, audience is so important when you're writing or giving a speech, whether it's to a few people or a large amount of people. Um, audience you have to consider uh, whenever you're crafting a message, uh, whether that's in writing or in public speaking. In looking at your college admissions essay, you are not writing it for me, you're not writing it for mom and dad, you're not writing it for your grandmother or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, or to get published in the newspaper, even though good ones sometimes do. You are writing it really for an audience of one, uh, of a person that has your admissions packet, who has your grades, your SAT scores, your AC ACT scores, your resume, your activities, all that stuff, and you really don't know who this person is. Uh, you don't know if it's a man, you don't know if it's a woman, you don't know uh, age, you don't know political affiliation, you don't know religious, ethnic, you really have no idea. But we can make certain assumptions about this one reader, right? The assumptions are they have this many essays to read. Will they read all of them? I don't think they have time to read all of them, right? Before teaching, I used to work in sales with admissions. Uh, for private schools and colleges and universities. And I've been in these offices and I see how overworked they are. There's a lot of pressure. Directors and deans move around schools like a roulette wheel. I mean, it's crazy, right? And when I was calling on one dean, oh, that dean's moved. Where? Okay, to another college. So if you go from Cornell, right, to, I don't know, a school out in Minnesota, yeah, you didn't do such a good job, or there's other reasons, you know, but my, my, my point is there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on admissions offices to bring in the best and the brightest in order to be ranked in the U.S. News and World Report. Don't get me started on that, but it's, it's a reality, right? And they want to bring in kids that had higher SAT scores than the previous year. They want to seem like they're going up in the rankings, not going down in the rankings. Your job in this college admissions essay is a marketing tool. Does it seem like it's just so pathetic? Not really, because this is this is the point. Here is the place where you can be a human being, right? The other things are just numbers, right? And you know you're more than a number, and if you don't, then you know you need to take a deep look in the mirror. But uh, here's a uh, here's a time for you to address that audience and capture that person, right? You don't want to make political statements that are going to make someone pissed off. That doesn't mean you can't say you you know campaigned for you know a Republican congressman and what you learned in that campaign that seems okay. If you start grandstanding and start making a lot of you know political statements, that's probably not such a good idea because you don't know your audience, okay? And really, your job is to think about that person reading your essay. They are overworked, probably underpaid, underappreciated, under a lot of pressure, and they need to be convinced that, A, you're a good writer, right? But B, more importantly, um, that you're a good person. Um, and they want to see you on campus. They want to be proud to say, hey, I'm going to my dean, I'm going to my director, this is my yes pile, right? And oftentimes, that essay might be able to tip the scales. I've had students, uh, Isabel, uh, she was uh, my editor-in-chief, she wrote an article where she got in trouble uh, with the school, I kind of got in trouble too, um, about increased class sizes, uh, they didn't hire a, an English teacher, and the the admissions office said, we love that. We love that in your essay, that you were able to stand up to authority, speak truth to power, and you weren't afraid. And Isabel was like, Mr. Bam, that was a, that's what they said. I'm like, of course, that's what we do here. We challenge, we, we're journalists, right? Uh, we just don't kowtow. We, we're, not, we're not Vichy to the French. You know, we're not Vichy to the Reich, right? Um, so the very thing that got her in trouble in high school was the very thing that landed her into her school that she really, really wanted to go to, right? And it's, it was a, a really good school. All right, they're all good schools, right? Basically, it's what, you, what, it's what you get out of it, but off topic. So you have to think about audience. Audience is so, so important. Um, and 
you need to be able to, if you can make them laugh, if you can make them cry, that's good, right? Um, and be a human being in this, right? If you seem, if it's two-dimensional, if it seems generic, they're not going to read it. Again, the pile they have to read is amazing, right? When I was in sales, I used to send out envelopes in black envelopes. Why? To get noticed, right? If there's a stack and they're all like manila envelopes and mine's black, right? Ooh, what's in this black envelope? Company pay more for black envelopes? Yeah. Did it oftentimes work? Yeah, it worked, right? Um, it, it just stand out. It's just ways to stand out. I'm not saying to print your essay on pink paper. No, it's all electronic anyway. But the idea is that be that essay that stands out. Uh, take a unique approach. Be bold. Be daring. Um, and But you have to think about that audience. Very, very important. right? And speak to that audience. And of course, if you watch other lectures of mine about the, the ethos, logos, uh, pathos, those types of things. Um, work on the heartstrings, you know, reveal your character. Um, that's all very, very important. It's all part of this, you know, the art of rhetoric and the art of persuasion. Really, because you are persuading this one person in admissions who has, really, they are weighing you, all right, with all the other thousands of applicants um, that are applying to the school. So you want to make sure your essay helps tips the scale in your favor, right? And it's it's reaching that, it's making the essay worth reading, right? The others, they just might skip over, okay, yeah, yeah, boring, boring, okay, okay. They don't have to read it, they don't have to evaluate it, they don't have to mark it up in a red pen, right? They're not an English teacher, but if you if you hook them with a, a good title and a great opening line, and a story with some dialogue, um, all in 650 words, that's a good start. That's a good start, okay? You, you don't want anything that's going to tip the scales against you. Even if it's a basic essay and you have good grades, you're probably getting in, right, depending on the school, right? And most schools now are really hurting for applicants, especially private schools. Uh, they're really hurting, especially now with COVID. So sometimes the essay just has to be good enough, but if it's a school that you know your grades are not so good or your SAT scores are not so low and for, for whatever reason this is a school that you really want to get into, a good essay will speak volumes, right? And hopefully, you know, it's something that you're proud of. It's an essay that you really enjoyed writing. If you don't enjoy writing the essay, make sure you write something else, sorry. Um, and, but you have to think about that audience, all right? When in Athens, praise Athenians, all right? Uh, but don't say Princeton, as you know, Princeton is an awesome school. It is, the, it is an oldest school and blah, blah, blah. And Fitzgerald went there. Stop. That's platitudes. Princeton knows it's Princeton, right? That works if you're like, you know, speaking to Yankee fans or like, I'm a, I'm a rock musician. Hey, Philadelphia, how are you doing tonight? Love it here in the city of brotherly love. Ah! Yeah, that, that's done all the time, right? That's just playing to your audience, right? Um, so play to the audience that's sitting in an admissions office, right? Under the gun, lots of pressure, and give them some gold because they've been reading nothing but junk, right? All right, thanks everyone. Uh, take care, be safe out there. Don't do anything stupid.